Hey guys, it's Manu and welcome to a new video. Today I am talking to you from my car right now. We are going to be doing a full day of eating. I'm sorry if I don't look into the camera, but even though I'm at a huge traffic jam, I am driving. So, so safe driving first. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a full day of eating. Um, it's Monday, start of the week. and. It's around maybe like 11 a.m. right now. I usually get to work between like uh, 3.30 and 4 in the morning. I have a food company, a um, small food company. Um, so that's when we do our production. That's when I mostly need to be there. I then go to the shops. So I drive around town for a couple of hours thanks to Bogota traffic. And that's why I get home around noon and that's why my first meal of the day is around noon. Um, non keto related, but I live in Bogota, Colombia. Uh, Bogota is the capital of Colombia and I love it. I mean, I was born here, I was raised here, then I left and I lived in the States and I came back. And right now I'm really, really happy to be here. I'm happy to be building uh, what I call the beginning of my empire uh, here in here in Bogota. It's a gorgeous city. If you've if you've never been to Colombia, um, people usually go to the coast, like if you come in a cruise or something. Um, but if you do like traveling and uh, if you do get the chance to come to Bogota, you're going to love it. There's a lot of things to do. So it's a, it's a pretty major big city. So nightlife is huge and the food is amazing. You can eat any, any kind of food from anywhere in the world. And it's very affordable, especially if you're like from the States or Europe and you make your living in dollars. Um, as you know, usually Latin American coins um, aren't that strong. So that's... Um, how I start my days just driving around um, lately now that we're becoming big friends uh, podcasts have really been a big part of my life I I knew about podcasts from years um, but I only started listening to them maybe six months ago I do spend a lot of time driving and I do like music but um, I'm also a huge like productivity freak so I'm into like productivity hacking and being as productive as I can and getting as much done as I can with my days because I feel like I have a lot to give and that's why I need to be productive and it makes me happy um, so sitting around for hours listening to music uh, I felt that although it was fun I could be like feeding my brain more information and podcasts have been have been huge I really really enjoy them um, Usually by now I've had like two cups of black coffee at work and maybe a liter of water that I drink um, as soon as I get up and while I'm getting ready. Um, I'm almost home. I should be home in around like 30 minutes traf if, if traffic allows um, and I'll have my first meal of the day. One thing that I want to maybe start doing, I mean apple cider vinegar you hear great things you hear that it doesn't work i did it for like a week or two a few years ago and i didn't really feel a difference but i want to try it again to see what all the buzzes why red light why so many people talk about it so um i don't know have you tried it let me know in the comments next time you'll see me i'll be making my breakfast and i'll just take you around with me uh i'll be back soon at some balconies But I can't do this alone Sometimes I just need a light If I call you on the phone And you're on the other side So when your tears roll down your pillow Like a river I'll be there for you I'll be there for you When you're screaming But they only hear you whisper I'll be loud for you I'll be loud for you 
got you, I promise. Let me be honest. Love is a road that goes both ways. When your tears roll down your pillow like a river, I'll be there for you. But you gotta be there for me too. I just got home and I got delivery from Rappi. Dos Chingones is like a Mexican restaurant and I really like it because you can ask for your tacos with costra, which means like cheese on them. But it's really easy for you to take out the corn tortilla. So the filling comes like this. And then the tortillas come with the cheese crust and you can easily remove the corn tortilla if you decide to be low carb and just put the filling on top. And that's it. If I had avocado, I would definitely put some on, but I don't. I'll just add some hot sauce and that's going to be my second meal of the day. So I couldn't eat this without showing you guys. I think they use um, some type of white cheese, maybe mozzarella the crust stays pretty pretty soft it's not crunchy like when you make uh, taco shells out of parmesan cheese tacos al pastor is mostly pork and then it has a little bit of pineapple it's it's minimal most tacos al pastor do have more pineapple that's a pretty high carb food so do take it out if you want to restrict your carbs even more so buen provecho Mm -hmm. mm. it's amazing how satisfying the cheese crust can be so if you do have a choice um, going into a Mexican place ask if they can sub the corn um, or wheat tortilla with something else or maybe if you just eat a taco bowl, bowl, you'll get the same feeling. But you can just omit the carbs that way. I'll see you guys soon whenever I eat something else. There are some days that you're gonna wanna eat more and then there are some days like today for me that you're gonna eat a lot less than you usually do. So the last thing that I'm gonna have today is one of these pecan chocolate clusters. Made them myself. Two ingredients, uh, three ingredients actually. Uh, pecans, uh, dark chocolate, 100% unsweetened dark chocolate, and then just a few drops of stevia. Oh, and sea salt. So that's four ingredients total, two main ingredients. For my Spanish channel, I just made um, all you need to know about nuts on the keto diet video. video. And then I also made this recipe. Um, one of these bad boys has about 210 calories. Let me see if I remember. 14 fat, three protein, and then three net carbs. So this is the last thing that I'm gonna eat today. Look at that, it looks amazing. Mm. Hmm. Dark chocolate. Mm. Well. I've had them before, of course, but they always surprise me how much I like them. Mm. One thing that you should take into account 
when eating nuts in general, even if you're not on the keto diet. Um, they're pretty caloric per volume. Okay, so that's something you're gonna want to take into account, especially if you really, really like nuts. Um, in a sitting or with a meal, you the general rule of thumb is you shouldn't eat more than a quarter cup of nuts. I don't know about you, but I'm addicted to pistachios. Even if they're shelled, I can get through them pretty quick. Before I know it, I'll have eaten, I don't know, a cup of pistachios. That can add up, you know? If you keep eating them, it can be a thousand calories just watching TV. So it's just one of the things about nuts. What makes them so good that they're high in fat, they're mostly low in net carbs, they're also very palpable, so you're gonna wanna eat a lot of them. Be careful with, be careful with those kinds of foods, because um, especially if you're keeping track of your calories, um, I don't know, weight loss journey. Calories are calories. I do believe that you do need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, even if you're on keto, especially um, in the long run, because yes, you are gonna lose water weight at first, even if you're not in a caloric deficit, but in the long run, if you are in a weight loss journey, you need to be uh, in a caloric deficit. <coughs> Sorry. So I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know I didn't show you that much, but I didn't eat that much, and I'm not gonna, I don't know, like show you some footage from some other day just to pretend that I ate more. Um, there are some days that are gonna uh, be a lot more food to show you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you did. Just click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. That way YouTube can no uh, notify you every time I do upload a new video. I'm trying to post two to three new videos each week. The channel is brand new. We're only on week three um, or two. We're starting week three. So if you do subscribe, you're gonna be one of the first subscribers and it would mean a lot to me. If you also hit that like button, uh, make sure you comment, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye. When you're screaming, but they only hear you whisper, I'll be loud for you. I'll be loud.